Alright, so, I've decided that nobody cares. Um, I got rid of a little bit of the problem, and yeah, basically I had changed something on a different overlay version, and it changed it on all of them, for some reason. But, I mean, it's not like I get donations anyway. Um, I don't think the PayPal thing has worked in, like, two years. I don't think anyone has attempted it in, like, two years because it's always been broken and I was never able to fix it. So, yeah, just subscribe and do the normal stuff, I guess. Um, yep. Notice how Top Donation doesn't have anyone. Yeah, there used to be a, a new donation thing over here. But I got rid of it because I'm preparing for this. Oh, yeah. We'll go do a, a date night and stuff. Except now it's super weird because yesterday, Off Meta decided that he's coming back to Twitch. And I'm very confused by this. Um, he has to start all over again because he deleted his old channel. But I guess he's going to be doing different stuff anyway than he used to be doing, so... Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm in a pretty bad mood today. Getting, uh, getting pretty fed up with doctors and stuff like that. Just not helping at all and just taking your money. Um, So yeah, I think I've got a, a pretty bad attitude today, but we're gonna we're gonna play some Slay the Spire, and it's the new Downfall expansion, and it's gonna be cool. We're gonna try out a new character. Look, it's the Champ. It looks like he has some stance stuff happening, so that should be interesting, right? You'll have to let me know if the sound is loud enough. I basically can't hear it. <laughs> I don't know why I can't hear it. I just turned up the volume on my speakers. Um, so yeah, let's uh let's embark. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a fiery elite down here. Hello. How are you doing today? I think we might go this direction. Um, maybe fight the merchant as well. Just this way we hit as many elites as possible. We do hit a, a fire there to heal. Can I make my camera bigger? Uh, I mean, it might block some stuff. Let me, uh, hop into a battle and then see if it blocks stuff. Um, we're gonna go this direction. Um, let's see if we can upgrade anything. I mean, that's a lot better than six times two. So yeah, I'll do that. That's not a fight, oh no. Um, I guess I will give them a strike. It's not gonna give anything at all. Okay, here's a fight. Oh yeah, with this character, it's looking like it's not really going to block anything. So first, I shall increase the webcam frame. And then next, I shall increase the webcam. There we go. So now I'm a little bit bigger. I could also potentially move myself up. Oh, 
dude, no. No, I'm not gonna do that. That is not what I needed today, man. Not what I needed. I'm gonna shrink my camera back down now out of spite. Now it's all messed up. Undo, undo, undo. I'm in a defensive stance. Skill bonus gain three counter, can trigger up to three times, charges remaining three. Berserker stance, skill bonus, gain two vigor, finisher effect, gain one strength. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go into berserker mode. So we're going to fight. Let's see, it gives me a little bit of extra damage, so I'll kill that one. And then... And now I have the finisher bonus, and now I have a additional strength for the future. Alright. Now we do a defensive shout. We're gonna gain some block. And we'll see how this works. Oh, okay, so... It gives me, like, thorns, kinda. That's interesting. I kinda like that. Ooh. Iron Fortress. At the end, to gain two dexterity, and at the end of each turn, gain three block. Hmm. Not knowing the deck list very well, or the types of cards you can get, I'm gonna get Arena Preparation. Give me random. We can do random. Alrighty. We'll do a Berserker Shout. And we're just gonna deal as much damage as we can. Okay. So there's like vigor and counter. Okay, no no real reason for me to get defensive, I don't think. Defensive stance. He's not going to attack me again, is the problem. He's just going to run away. as much as we can do. Not a bad outcome. Oh, okay. Some uh, strike business. 
flash strike, deal six damage, defensive combo, gain four counter and four block. Okay, so if you're in defensive st stance, that's a little bit better. Technical jig. Whenever you enter a stance, trigger its skill bonus twice. That seems good. It's my first power. Sacrifice. Wow. Um. Yeah. I like that. Perfecter strike. <laughs> it's like perfect strike, but it's perfecter. Deal eight damage, deal three damage, additional damage for all your cards containing strike. Precise thrust. Berserker combo and defensive combo. So that's kind of nice that it does both. I also wonder if this stacks. I can only choose one. I could also do card removal, which is probably the more responsible thing to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the precise thrust. More, more, she says. I don't know if the heart's female, but I imagine her is female. Just like Meow is female. It's like two girls fighting. Heck yeah. Oh wow, I still have an energy. Um, okay. I'll defend, I guess. I don't really need to, but... It's alright. should be enough to kill them. Yeah, deals 19 damage back from the counter. Challenge. Gain 8 block, deal 8 damage. If this target has strength, repeat these effects once. Um, I mean... I'm pretty likely to have strength at any one time, which makes this ridiculous. What's the upgrade on this? <gasps> um, Tornado Punch, deal 12 damage to all enemies as area of effect. And you also need 7 block for each enemy hit. Encircle, deal 7 damage to all enemies, trigger a skill bonus for each enemy hit. I'm going to take the cheaper area of effect thing. All right, here we go. Kind of a bummer. Now we're going to get like all block or something.
Wait, I can't play this, but I can play this? I guess because I've already played a card with finisher. Or because I'm not in a stance. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That's another strike. Deals six damage and does not consume vigor. Hmm. Flash strike, if you're in defense, it can get four counter and four block. Enter Berserker, but gain four block and four vigor. Hmm. Um, 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 um. Take the uncommon. I'll take the key, actually, because... Curses will make me stronger, so why not? Alright. Nine block, nine counter. Exit stance. Enter stance. I'm gonna go after the one in the front. I'm not sure if I sequenced that correctly. But maybe I did, because I got the strength for the uh, for the second part. Good morning. I think I'm going to... Do the area of effect. And this is six blocks instead of five, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, you play as the bosses instead of the uh, the regular characters. But it's it's basically like, you know, having nine new characters to play with. Um, you also go through the map backwards, like if I look at the map. You start off at fires and then go downward. And then you fight the normal heroes. Can you fight against yourself? Yes, <laughs> there is an event for that. There is in fact an event for that. Let's see if I can take this guy out. So he's dead. Um, I'm gonna go back into defensive. Definitely, definitely. I'm trying to remember, I've got my water here, trying to remember to re rehydrate as well. works pretty well. Um, I will enter defensive again. I 
Now we'll deal 12 damage back, which is pretty great. Uh, I'm going to enter Berserker, and then this should deal extra, or I will rather... Oh yeah, I'll just kill him. <laughs> Apparently we want to get cursed. First potion. Ooh, our first rare too. First time you use a finisher each turn, gain an energy and draw a card. Reinforced body, perfect or strike. Can I upgrade this to be one? Yes, I can. That will be what I'm taking. Uh, but we're not going this way. We're going this way in order to fight the additional elite. an energy from that and then I'm gonna enter berserker and I will deal a strike delicious water and go back into defense and that will not quite kill, unfortunately. He'll be at 1 HP. But we can just get him with a, any attack, basically. So, Stim Pack. Enter Ultimate Stance? What's Ultimate Stance? Ultimate Stance. Counts as both Defense and Berserker. If you leave the stance before it expires, immediately re-enter it. That's awesome. You couldn't live without it. True, true. Ooh, okay, so this guy, he has a lot of stuff that's like two energy. I'll grab that, because it exhausts. Okay, now the question is, do I... Which key do I destroy? Because I only have enough money to destroy one. Um, I think I'm going to do the HP one. And then I'm going to smith. And I'm going to upgrade that dancing master. And then we are going to go towards the third elite. So we're trying to get some more relics up in here. Maybe should have done in circle instead, but too late now. Enraged Bash. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta drink some water, too. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, hey, it's you again. I was not anticipating an extra fight, but that's okay. Uh, still worth it for the vigor. Because that does extra damage. Um, 
little circle. Perfect. Am I not in Berserker? Did it did it hit twice and I didn't see it? Alright. Um Oh! Oh! Oh, I misread the card. Okay, so it's when it cycles back that it hits an additional time. I understand now. We're gonna defend. Take a little bit of damage. I'm just going to see what we get. Um, draw a card, get an additional energy. Going to do execute, actually do some damage. Uh... Hmm. And then I'm not in a stance, so it won't let me do either of those. It's a technical jig, I guess. He's not attacking, so there's no point in blocking. This is more... So that'll be 30. Uh, do I want to do this first or this first? I'll try that. 18. 19! Yes, was worth it. And then precise thrust. Okay. And then he runs away. But we have almost halved his life total, which is good. Reckless strike, stance dance. Um, deal damage equal to your counter to all enemies and lose half your counter. I think I'm gonna take stance dance. That seems useful. I have no money. <laughs> uh, I can do this. Because it is on sale. 8 damage. Berserker combo. Draw 2 attacks. I mean, it's not horrible. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, it's an ob again. Uh, I'm gonna gain some vigor. Probably... 14 damage twice is the best I'm gonna do. Then these unfortunately go back to normal. Um, I'm no longer in Berserker. So I will do this one, because it is the most damage. And I'm not drawing and discarding, uh... I'm not drawing and discarding, what's it called? It attacks. And I will deal 16 back. 
and hopefully we can just kill him this turn. Um, I'm gonna go into Berserker. Whoa. He actually dances. <laughs> Mummified hand. Explosive potion. Um, I'll drop colors potion for explosive potion. Choose a stance to enter. Fetch a finisher from your draw pile and exhaust. Yeah, okay. Face appears to be scoured by flames. <sighs> Darn. Well, I'm glad I have this explosive potion now. Kill that one. Ooh, death blow though. Should have considered that. All right, I'm gonna take nine. Dude, Vigor is kind of nuts. Just stores up that energy. Ooh, yes. Mango. Much needed. Fear potion and last stand. Once you get below 50 HP, remove. Oh! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, <laughs> executes now free. You like to see it. It's too bad, no way to enter. Assuming we beat the first boss, I definitely need a relic that gives me more energy. I like that he actually dances, it's funny. Stupid frailty.
Nice. Good clean fight. Gain two strength and then all enemies gain one strength. <laughs> That's funny. What's the upgrade of that? Oh, -hoo. you can also do a taunt to apply a weak and a vulnerable. Um, I'll go with the power because of the mummified hand. All right, first boss, it's the silent. She's gonna try and poison me. Oh, but I have an antidote in hand. Nice. Uh, arena preparation, see what we get. Rope a dope. Hmm. I mean, I'd like to attack. Make her vulnerable. We're gonna do Berserker's Shout. Upgrade Enraged Bash. And we'll do a Death Blow. I'm gonna take like 13 total from the poison and the uh, attack. Okay. Wait. Do the power first. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. <laughs> Removes my poison. Helpful. Um. Not attacking. Seems like I gain vigor from blocking. Dead. Whew, that was a little close. We did okay though. Block potion. Just five energy. Oh, but it costs one energy less for each finisher played this combat. Deal six strikes, 
or deal six damage and gain two strikes. They cost zero. So that's only helpful if you're doing strike tribal, which I'm not doing. So it is either last stand or devastate. I already have a last stand, but I'm inclined to get another one because it's ridiculous. This is new. Idol of Retromation. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of the most expensive card in your hand by one for this turn. I Okay, I see. Cannot play more than six cards per turn. I actually might be okay with this guy. And then Fusion Hammer. You can no longer smith at rest sites. Look, I normally don't do the Velvet Choker, but like... I feel like I'm very seldom going to be playing more than six cards per turn. So I'm going to get that. I am needed in the city. All right. I am going to take a quick break. And then we're going to take on level two.
have returned with peanut butter bread. If I can grab it. Okay. Kind of liking the look of going down the middle. You can hit a couple fireplaces. Gain dexterity is a free action. Gonna increase the advantage I have here. That's cool. That's also cool. That answers that question. It does behave like thorns in that it does not reduce his armor. Four energy now is nice. Don't accidentally play refreshment when you're not in a stance, as it will literally do nothing. I didn't have any. Wait, why can't... Oh, Velvet Choker. I'm glad I didn't play it. Would have been a waste. John Cena. How are you doing, Super Base?
Yeah. Know that feeling. Omniplus. Uh, overall, life is going okay. I'm just mad about stupid stuff. I don't know if you can relate to that. Stance dancing. He has um, two stances. Berserker and defensive. When he does Berserker, um, you can gain Vigor. And Vigor seems to happen when you block. So he gains Vigor, and then if I block, he gains more Vigor. So it's like he stores it up. And then um, Defensive Shout, uh, Defensive is he gets Counter. And so counter is basically like temporary thorns. So now when he attacks me, I'm going to deal 10 damage back. Sort of. It doesn't explain what defensive and berserker are. Womp womp. And so you have cards that have effects if you're in certain, um, certain stances. So like, for example, if I use this right now, not only will I deal 21 damage, but since I'm in defensive, I'll gain 8 block. Um, there are also cards called finisher. You can only play f a finisher card if... <clears throat> Excuse me! Oh! Um, you can only play a finisher card if you are already in a stance. And that exits the stance. <laughs> Burp. Exactly. Excuse me. So, generally you'll want to do bring it on, or like, finisher cards last. I wish I could enter a... Oh, there's also something called Ultimate Stance. But I'm saving this. Ultimate Stance is you're in both stances at once, essentially. You've never broken my life, how dare you. <laughs> mm. Well, I don't have anything that's multi-hit, so... I'm just gonna do the precise thrust. And see, then my vigor gets used up, and now everything else is normal again. And this is to go even further beyond! <laughs> yeah. But see, with every attack that I'm doing in defensive stance, I'm building up counter. Which means I should have, I should have done the strike first, but that's okay. I'm still learning how this works. <laughs> My God. You mixed two memes. Uh, frickin' Dragon Ball Z when he goes Super Saiyan 3. Right? Like, that's where it originates, I think. 
I remember because then he goes, ha, ah, ah, and like grows his hair out. You have limited knowledge of my anime knowledge. I, I am not like a huge anime fan, I don't think. Um, not as much as some other people, not even as much as um, Tyrone, but. Oh, you meant go beyond plus ultra. <laughs> Use zero anime knowledge. Yeah, I do watch kind of the mainstream stuff. Like I watch My Hero Academia. Um, you should probably watch some. Then you had to call yourself for bad memes. Um, there is also a strikes build with this guy, but I'm not doing that. Pile driver, deal 14 damage, apply two vulnerable, two weakened finisher. I kind of like on guard. I feel like I've been taking a lot of offense, so I'm going to do a little defense. Sacrifice. <sighs> What's a good anime to start with? I mean, Dragon Ball Z, you were like, oh, he's dead. Um, Dragon Ball Z is kind of like the classic quintessential anime, I feel like. Um, it's the ones that we all grew up with, but it is also like action specific. So if you like action and i'd also recommend watching dragon ball z super or not super um dragon ball z kai instead of regular dragon ball z because dragon ball z has the nickname of drag on ball z and dragon ball z kai is like the condensed version dragon ball z kai respects your time a lot more than the regular version yep oh there's the ultimate stance but I am too poor to afford it. Dude, I'm a little bit like, screw this, I'm gonna save my money. Cause I can hit another store down here and potentially kill him, so. I, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna not get anything. We're gonna save up. You like humor mostly. You like stuff like Park and Recreation or Trailer Park Boys, that sort of stuff. Okay. You might enjoy the uh, the slice of life type animes that I hate. All right, we're gonna technical jig first. I'm going to bring it on and then immediately Berserker shout again. I have to watch it though, because I do only have a, uh, I can only play six cards per turn. That will block everything. Hey, you don't have any money. <laughs> Let's teach him a real lesson. Oh my god. Yu Yu Hakusho was great. It ended before it was finished. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I mean, it, it had an ending. It just wasn't a super satisfying one. Yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho is probably Timo's favorite anime of all time. I like it a lot, too. It is one of those animes that kind of evolved over time. I also really like um, the the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. That one's a pretty funny one too. 
and also sometimes gets referenced in memes. The real question. Is Avatar the last airbender anime? Was it made in Japan? Then I think the answer is no. It shares a lot of traits with anime in terms of being uh, sequential and, you know, having a, a larger overarching story. Some of the themes. That's a hot take. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like how, uh, how if it's not made in Champagne, France, then it's just sparkling wine. It's like that. It's like, yeah, it's basically Champagne, but it's not. You haven't seen it? Okay, look. I have seen Avatar The Last Airbender. I have also seen The Legend of Korra, which is the sequel series. They're okay. They're, they're, they're good. They're good. I would even say they are good. I don't understand why people are like, oh my god, this is the best series of all time. Yeah. Av Avatar Less, it's, it's good. It's, it's good. Part of my problem with it is that I absolutely hated the character of Korra, who's in the sequel series. Um, but... Avatar cuts deep. It does. Yeah, it has uh, it has funny moments, but it also is like emotional. The characters are well written. Yeah. I'll ask you this, Super Base. Have you ever seen Steven Universe? Korra did a lot of what Final Fantasy X did in that it set you up a cast that you want to hate, but they grow over time. Yeah, I never got over my hatred for Korra. The others were became fine, but I just, I did not like her. You've not seen Steven Universe. Um, you respect it? Yeah. So, Steven Universe is one of those shows where the viewpoint I'm like not even playing anymore. <laughs> We're just talking about shows for a second. Um, it's one of those shows where the point of view absolutely matters. And you can see how the tone of the show changes as Steven gets older and he kind of figures out more of what's going on. You have thing in your brain that Avatar is not for you, but you're not against revising your opinions. Yeah, I... And I feel like both Avatar and Steven Universe have a little bit of a... It takes a little bit to get going kind of issue, but a lot of shows are like that. I mean, heck, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, I basically tell people, you know watch the first episode and then like the last episode of season one and then just start season two and you're missing very little <laughs> oh well actually that's not true you have to watch uh season one episode one you have to watch angel which is somewhere in the middle and then the season finale of season one and then just start with season two Because I, when I first started watching Buffy, I watched it from season one. Season one is only 12 episodes because it was a, uh, a mid-season premiere. And I still quit in the middle because I was like, this is boring. But it just took a little while to find its footing. Season one for Avatar had to set up a lot. That is absolutely true. Season two was kind of really slow, had some big emotional moments that were kind of hitting at stuff in season three. And then season three is where all the payoffs happen. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely true. Yeah, I am highly in favor of a uh, flood order in shows. Like, if you can... 
skip certain episodes when getting started in order to like get hooked on a show i think that that's beneficial what's your guys favorite anime se favorite series if you can only choose one it doesn't have to be an anime oh um super Free says dbz not even close um for me it's not dbz uh You, will, you still cry at the end of Majin Vegeta. That's because anyone with a soul cries at the end of Majin Vegeta. <laughs> um, dude, that's really hard. That's hard. I'm trying to think of like, okay, well, what's something that I rewatch the most? Because then that, that might give me kind of an idea. Um, this is now just chatting stream. Um, <laughs> man asked the literal son of the devil, when I die, is there any chance I go to heaven? And he is told, honestly, there's no saving you. You've done too many terrible things that can never be forgiven. And then he goes and dies anyway. <laughs> Sacrificing four people. I see. Well, tell my wife and son I love them. You're weighing between Battlestar Galactica and Arrested Development. Probably BSG. I've never seen Battlestar Galactica. Was that a was that a show that was made and then had a remake? Or am I thinking of something else? Ooh, yeah, Outlaw Star would be a good one if you like the kind of space western type of thing. But with a little bit of a supernatural twist or a sci-fi twist. It originally aired in the 70s and then it had a remake. Okay, so which one is the one that you like? The original or the remake? The remake. Dude, I think I think I have to say my favorite series of all time is Dollhouse, which is probably not a very popular pick. It's a show. Um that was run by Joss Whedon, only ran for two seasons, um, but it's interesting, particularly in the uh, in the in the second season, um, a lot of it was more run by uh, Jed Whedon and uh, Marissa. I can never say her last name because it's long. It's like Tan Ta 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 or something like that. Um, and they, they ran another one of my favorite series, which was Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And Dollhouse is just a beautifully crafted series about what it is to be human. Also, I think one of the actors maybe was on Battlestar Galactica. I think I, I, think I remember him mentioning something like that. Oh, God, what's, what's his name? Uh, it's like Tomo. Oh, oh, that's another thing. All the actors in, in this uh, in this show have weird names. Uh, but it stars Eliza Dushku. Um, and uh, the premise of the show is um, what if we had the technology to uh, wipe a person's brain and implant them with a new personality? Omniflash, just Google Toonami. Yeah, that's fair enough, too. That's also fair. Though, you know, I might, I might want to change my answer because now that I'm thinking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Agents of S.H.I.E.D., ha D Dollhouse is really great for drama, but Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has everything. It has comedy and drama and action and all that stuff. 
Yeah, even Sailor Moon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna kill these people. Is there anything that I have that hits multiple people? Death Battle did uh, Beerus in a fairly recent battle. Death Battle? They put him against Sailor Galaxia. Ooh. Not a lot of times you see Beerus go into a battle as a lightweight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I ever saw the end of Sailor Moon, like the final season, because it wasn't on Toonami, um, the Sailor Stars. Not only is Sailor Moon not still going, uh, they actually remade it. Yeah, there's a remake called Sailor Moon Crystal. And it has remade each season in an abbreviated fashion, um, except for Sailor Stars. I don't know if they're still working on that or not. Oh, yes. I want Ultimate Stance. You remember from like the early 90s? Yep. Trigger a trap? I don't want that. Guys want to know a really good anime that's still going? I mean, the correct answer is My Hero Academia. Oh yeah, Pokemon is still going, that's true. I stopped watching that many, many eons ago. And now the, uh, the, an the animation's all weird. Screw it, I'm gonna get the key. You had to do it. Most of the people who did old school Pokemon animation retired. Um, you feel like you've heard of My Hero Academia somewhere before. Um, it is one of the fastest manga to anime adaptations in history. <laughs> they immediately were like, we have to make this into an anime. Would you want them to keep doing the same style not as well or try their own thing and maybe excel? Yeah, that's definitely true. this direction. Oh, not that curse. Like, I, I know 
but that seems awful. <laughs> he just killed Burgundy. <laughs> we're fighting the Watcher, we're so dead. Passes over through the turns, so. Watcher's main gimmick is burst. If you can do enough damage, she neuters her own attacks. Oh god. Alright. Um. Well, let's try and make something free! Alright. If it was an actual Watcher deck, we'd be super dead at least. The character's just broken as hell. I definitely sequenced that incorrectly. I played the finisher too soon. But it's fine, we got him. Ooh, fairy in a bottle. Yes, please. Fan of knives. Take the upgraded on guard. Hey, look, it's you again. Omniscience into Omniscience and play the strongest powers in your deck four times. <laughs> Small hop. Dang, two rares. He's not going to attack me again, so that's not helpful.
I guess I'll just gain vigor for next turn. Hopefully I'll be able to do 41 damage. 38 damage, that is. I can. Give me those souls back. could potentially come in clutch. Okay, so now I can actually get things. So of course there are almost no rares in the shop. Strategy potion. Choose one of two cards which enter a stance to gain one to gain. One for each stance. It costs zero this turn. Intangible but better? What is? The ultimate stance? Oh, oh no. Uh, the card I just got. Yes. Yes. Your HP cannot be reduced until your next turn. Yeah. Yeah. Seems, seems pretty good, right? Um... I'm kind of liking the look of the ginger. Not really liking the look of any of the cards, to be honest. I am going to hit one more shop. So I'm going to do the ginger. I'm going to rest for the boss fight. Leftmost card at the top. Nah. We re-roll. Oh! <laughs> Why do they do this to me? I can still get this, though. But I love Study the Spire. It's so good. I will get Ultimate Stance, though. And now I'm poor. That's just not a good opening hand. Um, I should have played the other block. I forgot. Every time I play block, I get vigor, and then my next, I have to use all my, I need to use all my, ener uh, all my energy each turn. Uh, yes, there are ascension levels. Cool, that wasn't so bad. Perfect, or strike. Um, I'm just gonna skip at this point. All right, watcha. Well, that's not really what you're hoping for.
I would like to point out that her thing is blinking. Again, I think I did that in the wrong order. I should have blocked and then attacked. It always does that. Okay. Ginger's coming in clutch. I already have a last stand, so I'm gonna hold the other last stand for now. Well, seems good. I'm gonna hit her for 52. Neither of those help. I mean, I'm not even going to break through. I'll do that because it'll increase and... Then I guess I'll just defend.
So I block a bunch first. And then I attack. So that way it increases the vigor. Oh yeah, the intangible turn? Yeah, that was... I realized about halfway through that she was intangible, and I was like, why am I not doing damage? That seems like a good ignore pain turn. Do I have any finishers in my pile? No. Uh, we'll just chill. Got her. That wasn't even as close as the first fight. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold on to what I have. Berserker combo. Don't gain weak. Champ, Cena. Twelve block, twelve counter, and one blur. Uh, I think I like throwing things at people. Am I even really resting at rest sites? Not really. So I'll get that. I take this path, it looks like I can avoid elites, so that's what I'm gonna do. Move a strike. Strong boy has entered the arena. The lifelink dudes. I mean, I just want to know what repost is, so that. There was a card to the left when I hovered? Huh. Cool.
Dude, no offense, really? Well, I'm gonna kill this one. I like ultimate stance. I like ultimate stance. Who oh boy, it's these guys. Ultimate stance has dings. That way I get counter, I think. Oh, maybe that's not how that works. Should you play Rocket League? Usually it ends with you being annoyed, but maybe this time would be different. Dude, that was my entire relationship with Magic Arena. I'm so glad I quit. You would think I would miss it. I don't. Alright, I'm gonna kill the explodey guy. Just gonna gain more vigor, because why not? The next set has angels. I'm aware that the next set has angels. I know it has that really cool legendary angel. But you know what? All the called high named angels have rotated out of standard anyway, so, you know. They haven't rotated yet. Yeah, but they're... Wait, call time has not rotated out? I can't get weak because of the ginger. You're right. There's no downside to that. rotates the set afterward? Oh, okay. No. Hearthstone is currently in a place. The game is all tribal decks and one-hit KOs. <laughs> yes.
you know what? I'm I'm gonna go and fight a, a an elite. I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna be okay. Eleven damage two times. Oh, I think it's sword throw. The word is unbreakable. The word is unbreakable. All right, it's sword lady. How would I feel about an aggro deck with a turn two draw five? That seems a little bit excessive. Ooh, I uh, I did not anticipate this. Just take 20, very casually, and hopefully we get some attacks. Six. Kazaku and Druid dependent on overgrowth and lightning boom just to get him down, but both just rotated. Hmm. Living to turn four is not a guarantee these days. Six. Reese got a zero mana legendary. <laughs> you lied. <laughs> 
Shadow Priest lost Wriggling Horror and Freshman. Those hurt. Okay. That was not bad. That's not bad. Um. <gasps> That's amazing. Um, I'm not in a rush to fight another elite, though, so I'm gonna go this direction. I will gain 100 souls! Yay! Six. Zero mana, one one Naga battle cry. For each spell you've cast, a stern fresh mana crystal. MC pearls don't help you because you haven't played at all. Yeah, I never, I never got into that Hearthstone life. Oh, I guess that still counts as exiting your stance? Or changing your stance? That's weird. Okay. Um... I'm assuming I get both. Nice. <laughs> be responsible and try to prevent damage. Cheap shot. Deal five damage. If the enemy is a boss, deal damage two more times. If not, stun it. Uh, I feel like that's good, so I'm gonna get that. Happens when you combine brand, refreshing man, and that all together. Bran is the Hearthstone Par Panormonicon. Ah, I see. You get to take two turns, but it's a lot of pieces. What do you do with the mana? It'd be better to just win the game. <laughs> Makes sense to me.
Get some vigor first. Stun you. He's got Lyra back. Lyra has a different meaning in MTG. I really like Precise Thrust. Everybody's got a premium legendary back. Ooh. This is a new event. Wandering down a side path, you feel an immense invisible force guiding your footsteps toward a new destination. Before long, you see a pedestal of massive tome, warped in some eerie glowing energy. As you approach, the pages, which were clearly blank before, spring to life, etching into itself new carvings and drawings of attack combinations, martial stances, enemy weak points, everything you could ever need to know about fighting. Seems almost too good to be true, but this gift, this opportunity, this knowledge simply must not go to waste. I still do not understand what trigger skill bonus is, but I'm still gonna do it. Unbelievable! The teachings this tome has to offer have are breathtaking. Every word and diagram leaps off the page into your mind, granting you new methods of slaughtering your opponents. Unfortunately, such knowledge has, has never come without a cost. It takes a toll on your psyche, but there's so much more to learn. I'll do one more. Is there one in which I enter a stance? We'll leave at this point, though. Whatever price to be paid, it was worth it to gain this precious knowledge. It's taking much effort to peel yourself away as the books hold over you, but you managed to do so. With the tome's teachings fresh in your mind, you set out to find a new victim to test them out on. Keep in mind, I can't heal, so, you know. Gotta be a little careful. Ooh. Ooh. Evil within. I know Oddly Smooth Stone was the responsible take, but I don't care. Evil Within. <laughs> uh, I'll get a Power Potion too. I have a fair in a bottle, so I can play pay a little play a little fast and loose. You think this is your time? This is mine. I probably should know what card you're referencing. I've played the game for a long time.
I'm not in. I'm not in a stand, though. I'm actually cool with that. I could have hit him again, but only ten? That's 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 a lot better. Secret agent incoming. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill him. Let's go fight the boss! I'm a little concerned. He is a minion? What is this? Four. Might want to read Ironclad special on the right. Special on the right. This thing? Boss has increased mass HP, no Starlet Relic, draws two less cards, and has one energy. Start of each combat boss gains a unique buff effect, cannot be stunned. Is that what you meant? Bastion. Oh! Ironclad begins the fight with Fortification, which will grant him 10 block each turn. When Fortification has been destroyed, he loses Barricade, but gains 5 strength at the start of each turn. Yeah, I figure I'm gonna try to take out this thing first. Oh. I see. Hmm. Gains five strength each turn. So, like, I might want to kill him first. Instead of the minion. Oh my god, he's gonna do 65 to me? Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I watched The Witcher. It was pretty good. I'm, I'm caught up.
Pretty good. Not fantastic or anything, just pretty good. Yeah. Ninety-nine damage seems pretty good. Oh, he's only doing ten damage now. hang on to the gut punch, I think. Okay, so it does stack. Yeah, I'm gonna die. My uh, my thing's gonna trigger. Doesn't make sense to play anything else. Hey, I didn't die. Look at that. Well, first of all, that. Uh. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I ran out of energy. No. Oh, I was gonna. I was trying to. Up, I was trying to gain more vigor and then screwed up. I'm probably gonna lose because of that. You should have no barricade right now. Like this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. <laughs> I might be able to get enough block from Vigor.
five, six. Okay. Yes? I didn't even pop the berry! Oh my god! I can't believe I didn't even pop the fairy in the bottle. Letters with the five time, five time, five time clutch comeback. Alrighty. My block will be broken very slightly, and then I will gain 11 block next turn. You haven't seen this fight, have fun. Oh boy. Let me go after Silent first. damage to each of them. Or, no, to the front one. Play the downfall mod, are you pretty sure you want at least one one? Uh, it depends if you g picked up the keys or not. Now stop healing her. You're an elite, not a boss, so you know you're stunned. Ginger was a good purchase.
50 damage to all enemies seems pretty good. for some reason. I don't know how that happened. Do fancy footwork. That's three. That's a hilarious animation. He's at lower damage, so I'm inclined to go after him. damage to all enemies. Yeah! Hey, Nya went away. Um, she's like, I'm gonna prepare for the next fight. Oh, game blur, too. Nice. Oh, yeah! A huge amount of counter, I forgot. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna skip all those. They seem lame. I only have 60 gold. Probably won't be able to get much. Maybe a potion? Not even a potion. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna and anything. The draw three potion and cost that little? Oh! That's weird. For some reason, I did not see that I could afford it. Anyway, um, thank you for calling that out. Now to smith or to lift? Upgraded boss card. Ooh. Lift. I have some strength synergies, so it seems like a good idea. Yeah, it's actually fairly rare that Niao attacks, never relying on debuffs to open the letters with a few nasty ones that do come out.
Take a little bit of a hit. Ugh. actually not be the end of the world. got more energy, I'm not going to complain. I, mean, I even get to get away with it, yeah. Crush. I'm not in a stance, so defending doesn't help me. So we will not have Meow heal. I'm gonna save my ignore pain. bottle's gonna pop. Guess what Nyao doesn't have? Well, I guess I have the energy. I might as well use it. 
because it stacks. Now does not gain artifact this battle. Hmm. Casual 99, you know? I would really, really like that Ignore Pain right now, but I don't have a way to get it. I did not pop my bottle, but, I mean, it's not gonna matter. Even with 30% of my HP... <laughs> Oh, oh, when you heal with 30% of your HP, it doesn't carry over? That's good to know. Um, I mean, I could deal damage. He only has four thorns. So I'm gonna do that. And then pass. Nice. Apparition event refers to Niao as a she. It's not a weak potion. It's ultimate stance. It just looks like one. Yeah. Yep. I'm like, can I kill him this turn? Can I kill her this turn? Because I think if I can't, I'm just dead. Time for some vigor! Well, I also have to hope that Muddle doesn't screw me. Well, Muddle screwed me. Um... I don't know if that's going to be enough. I mean, these were all ones, and now they're twos, so kind of. I can gain more vigor with the defend. Yeah, I guess she only heals for one. It's probably worth it. Or two, that is. The Vigor's gonna get consumed. It's not gonna be enough. Yeah. We end on a nice. And then we die. Ugh. So close, yet so far away. 
But hey, we unlocked the Ascension, and we got a new unlock. We did pretty freaking good, if you ask me. Especially for our first time playing the character. Ooh, new cards unlocked for future runs. Berserker style. Enter Berserker. Berserker skill bonus grants one more vigor. Nice. Vicious Mockery. <laughs> uh, target enemy gains one strength, and you gain 12 vigor. Defensive style. Enter defensive. Defensive skill bonus grants one more counter. Cool. And I unlocked a new character. Well, uh, I think that's gonna be it for me today. Something we learned, don't overvalue ultimate strength pot. Yeah, the ultimate, um, the ultimate potion didn't end up coming in handy. But, eh, what are you gonna do? Or I needed to use it, like, earlier, perhaps. Didn't I also make a mistake where I didn't attack or something? That might have been on the elite fight, I'm not sure, but... Uh, it's a little easier to get into the ultimate stance than we expected, yeah, for sure. Because I, I was finally getting some rare cards that did it. Um, yeah, lo lovely chatting with all. Um, I'm gonna see if we can raid somebody at this somewhat early hour. Uh, we will go ahead and raid Reese, who is playing Bind of Isaac. I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and please be sure to stay safe. Have a good one.